Hi, I'm Dan Clark, and you're in my sacred space, my man cave. It's called the library in our home. And when people enter my home and I, I'm allowed to give them the tour of my military coin collection and some of the fighter jets and bombers that I've had the privilege of flying and the flags and the awards that I've received, they always ask me, what is the most important thing on my wall? What's the most significant thing in my man cave, in my library? I don't even have to think about it, my friends. It's the picture of my family. No other success can compensate for failure in the home. And if you're really pursuing that promotion that you deserve, there's a really good chance that you're going to lose sight of the work-life family balance. Spending more time at the office, let's not lose sight of what matters most. If you're going to pursue your dream of becoming a highly paid professional speaker, obviously you're going to have to hop on a jet and fly somewhere to deliver your message. So collectively, my wife and I, we put together a collection of our interviews, of our experiences, of our observations, quotes, funny lines, anecdotes in this wonderful book that we call The Art of Raising Significant Children. We have four amazing kids. We're not the experts, but we believe that we've shared and illuminated some of the experts' ideas and some of the observations that we've had that have allowed us to keep our family together and raise four amazing kids. Wow! I've been on the road pursuing that dream and chasing that almighty dollar, which allows us to make a bigger difference and give more away to charity as a volunteer. The second book we want to make available in this last offering is a book called The Art of Significant Leadership and Talent Development, which ties right into parenting. The mission of a parent is to prepare our children for a world they recognize. So at the end of the day, if there's only one job opportunity and nine applicants, who's going to get the job? The loser? No, that child who's been taught how to make responsible decisions. That there's a difference between opportunity and entitlement, and no one's entitled to anything. That we must work hard, show ethics, be honest, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent, and everything else that makes us a wonderful Boy Scout of America. These two books are now the last part of our bundled offer that will make your course experience complete. Obviously, 1995, 1995, we just want to give them both to you for 1995 as a going away gift, a parting gift, if you will, that, as I said, will complete our experience together in this first of many courses that I'm offering right now. You have a great day.